Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to our channel. It is Saturday morning, and we ran out of milk. So I live about 15 minutes from town, and I'm not making the trip in just to pick up milk. So I'm going to show you how to make a really inexpensive milk alternative. Very simple to make, so let's get started. Today we are making oat milk. What you're going to do is you're going to need one cup of old-fashioned oats, and you're going to need six cups of really, really, really cold water, one teaspoon of vanilla, and if you want to make it really sweet, add one pitted date. And you're going to put all of this into your blender. Now when you go to blend this, you're going to want to do it at a high speed and no more than 30 seconds. Once you have finished blending, you're going to want to strain your milk. So you're going to need either cheesecloth inside of a strainer or if you get yourself one of these, it's called a nut bag. And we'll just strain it through this. So I already have two cups of water in my blender. So I'm going to add my oats and then my other four cups. So we are going camping for a couple of days and I needed milk to make overnight oats with so this will be perfect for that. I'm going to put my date in and I really don't measure my vanilla. You can if you want to but I'm just going to put a little splash in it. So we're just going to splash that in. That's good. And then we're going to put our lid on and we're going to blend it for 30 seconds. Once it has finished blending, take your bag over your bowl and then just take your blended milk and dump it through the bag. You're going to be left with a lot of sediment in the bottom of the bag. Do not squeeze the bag. Just let it drip dry, okay? And then what we do is we'll heat this up in the microwave like you just would oatmeal. We'll add a little bit of water to it and then we'll take it out and give it to our chickens. You can bake with this, the leftover oats that are in here. See how heavy that is? You can bake with it. And I have made cookies in the past with it and they turned out okay. But there's options for this. So this will take a couple minutes to just drain out. So go ahead and just let that do its job. And then once it's finished, I'll show you what to do next. After it has been strained, this is what is left of the oats. Okay, so that's what we're going to heat up a little bit and give to our chickens. And then we're left with a bowl of milk. Now what we're going to do is rinse our blender out and then we are going to blend this one more time. Pour your oat milk back into your blender. And then we're going to run it again for another 30 seconds. Once you have finished running it for an additional 30 seconds, you're going to want to go ahead and strain it again. This time you should have very little sediment in the bottom of it because we took a lot of that out. And then what you can do when you're done with this is put it in a container that you can store it in your refrigerator. And it will last up to five days in the fridge once you make it. And it is that easy to make oat milk. And doing it this way, it will cost about 50 cents to make six cups of it versus $4 what you would pay at the store to get really eight cups. So this is our finished product. I'm going to use one of the old glass bottles I usually make sun tea in and Put a funnel in it so that you don't make too much of a mess and then just dump this right down in it. And 
And guys, there you have almost a half a gallon of oat milk made for just 50 cents. It is that easy, it tastes really good, and you can use it as a milk alternative whether you are lactose intolerant or follow a vegan diet or plant-based diet. This is a good option. And with the prices of everything going up, it's nice to know that you can still make something that's affordable. And just make sure that whenever you do use it, you shake it up before you pour yourself a glass or use it in any recipes because there will be some settling that will happen at the bottom. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you find this useful for your kitchen and your families. And please come back and join us again. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day.